this is our last question from simultaneous integral solutions right now here the question says john teaches biology for a group of 53 students he can divide them into two batches p and q p has seven batches of nine students each and q has x students of five batches each or six batches of y students in five batches and five y plus one students in sixth batch now your question is quantity a they are asking about x quantity b they are asking about n right now see here this question is having a lot of redundant data if, if you see the question it is very lengthy right and it says it talks something about x y p q n all these things right but you should focus here what exactly they are asking they are asking only about x and n right they are asking only about x and n so the comparison is between x and n now what you will do is convert all this data into numerical form right now see here john teaches biology for a group of 53 students so there are 53 students he divides them into two batches first batch is p second batch is q done now he says p has seven batches of n students each so p has seven batches of n students each 7n right and q has x students of five batches q has x students of five batches so there will be 5x right x into 5 or 5 into x anything is fine or so or or okay or six batches with five students y students in five batches so in five batches there are y students each and and means plus okay and y plus one students in the last batch sixth batch right so this is your data right now see here you should understand one thing the question is only about comparison between x and y n right x and n there is no comparison between y and x or y and n right so you can safely ignore this part why do you want to consider this right so you can safely ignore that what you can do is see here 7n is nothing but p 5x is nothing but q q can be represented in two ways first way is to write q as 5x so q can be written as 5x or what is the meaning of or or means it is equal to same as 5y plus y plus 1 you can write it as 6y plus 1 right so you can say q is equal to 5x or this 5x is equal to 6y plus 1 right but then out of this data you need to take only whatever you require right you need to compare between 7 and and x 5x right so the question is about comparison between x and n so only take this data right using this data what you can form is you know p is nothing but 7n right q is nothing but 5x so if you add both p and q what you will get you will get 53 right that's it now you successfully derived an equation in terms of x and n now you can clearly find what is the value of x and what is the value of n you can do that using your uh, simultaneous integral solutions right you must be knowing this method very well now now let us solve this okay so see here i use this one 7n plus 5x equal to 53 so what i will do is if i make x is equal to 0 right if i put x is equal to 0 my n will become 53 by 7 i will get a decimal value here right 53 by 7 is a decimal value but then you know that in practical scenario x and n decimal values are not possible right what is the meaning of x and n x and n are nothing but students right 7 batches of n students x batches 5 batches of x students right now students cannot be made into decimals right you can't say half student or uh, 0.75 student right quarter student that is not possible so definitely n and x will be taking only integral values that to only positive integral values or zero right so that means again the question can be framed like this so you can uh, you can be asked to find what are the number of non negative integral solutions right done now if i take x is equal to 1 right now my n will become 48 by 7 
right again this is not possible if i take x is equal to 2 right then it will become 5 to the 10 43 by 7 this is also not possible right now i will erase this one i have erased whatever is not required right now if x is equal to 2 this one if x is equal to 3 5 3 is of 15 send 15 this side you will get 8 and 2 38 right 38 even that is not possible so n is equal to 38 by 7 not possible so actually whenever you are solving integral solutions you need to find you need to find only your first solution set right once you get your first solution set your problem is solved now x is equal to 4 it becomes 20 20 if you take that side it will become 33 again 33 by 7 you won't get a integral value so take x is equal to 5 so 5 as a 25 send here 25 this becomes 28 right now n is equal to 28 by 7 you are getting 4 that means you got your first solution set here right so for this particular equation right your x is equal to 5 and your n is equal to 4 right now see the slope here slope is negative slope minus a by b minus 7 by 5 negative slope so if this increases this will decrease so in what terms it will increase here 4 will increase with a difference of 5 so it will become 9 and this will decrease with a difference of 7 so 5 minus 7 you will get minus 2 see here minus 2 comma 9 this solution set is not possible because i told x and n can take only positive integral solutions right positive integer value so this solution set is not possible right even if you keep keep doing this you will get still negative values right so don't do this avoid it now we can safely neglect this part now what i will do is i will decrease this value and i will increase this value right now if i decrease this it will decrease in terms of 5 so 4 minus 5 you will get minus 1 here and this will increase in terms of 7 so this will become 12 even here you are getting negative solutions even this is not possible so what is the meaning of this what is the meaning of this you must be getting it by now the only one possible solution set for this question is 4 and 5 only when n is equal to 4 and x is equal to 5 this problem is solvable and only possible solution set for this question is 4 comma 5 only these are the possible values if you want you can check you can check them here right 6 this one put n is equal to 4 here x is equal to 5 here you will get some for the 28 plus 25 this gives you 53 right even if you keep negative numbers this this even this is a solution set but then as i told you x and n cannot take negative numbers right because in practical scenario there won't be negative human beings right like a minus one boys minus two boys that's not possible right minus one student right similarly minus seven five student or or uh, uh, i can't say minus half student like that i can't say right that's it so only your possible solution is n is equal to four and x is equal to five you're asked to find what is quantity a they're comparing x quantity b they're comparing n so n is nothing but four x is nothing but 5 that's it right so only possible solution is 5 comma 4 so you can say your answer is quantity that's it right now some people may argue that even negative values are possible here right minus 1 12 also i can take but i told you in practical scenario these are not possible values right if this question is a different if this is not about students and they can say just x and y some variable kind of questions then it is possible but clearly he said that x and n are number of students right so in case of students you can't take negatives or decimals so only possible answer will be 4 and 5 so answer for this question without any doubt will be option a quantity a right thank you